On August the 4th, 1964, the first American pilot to be shot down and captured by the North Vietnamese was taken prisoner in the Gulf of Tonkin. Over the next eight and a half years, 766 American prisoners of war would be interrogated, starved, and tortured in a series of communist prisons. I was flying on my 51st combat mission, and we were hit by a service-to-air missile. We were about 30 miles northwest of Hanoi, North Vietnam. We were in the last turn, getting ready to return to our base and get ready for our next mission, but that was not to be. Well, we were hit immediately upon bomb release. Good possibility it was our own bombs going off. That's another story. When my eyes came level at the top, I was already getting gunfire, and my wingman said, encouraged me to get out, said, you're burning all over, you'll, you'll have to get out. We can now turn the, the missile if we see it. But while I was dodging the fourth, I was hit by the fifth, which I never saw. And on impact, the aircraft pitched down and began to burn, began to accelerate out of control. I took a hit and I, then one right through the front. My aircraft came through my uh, uh, cockpit, hit me right in the chest. I had a, a very thick portable radio right here and it took the full impact and broke my ribs. Then I went to uh, broadcast on the radio and discovered that my oxygen mask had been blown away. And uh, so I had no radio contact. Uh, and yet the plane is still flying straight and level. Unfortunately, it was flying straight and level towards a mountain. Uh, I knew I'd been hit, and I reached over to turn off alternator, battery, and generator. And as my hand got to the panel, the aircraft exploded. And instantly, the stick was floppy. The cockpit just instantly filled with smoke. I put my visor against the, the canopy. I couldn't see out. Start breathing that smoke stuff and starting to pass out. And, so we, I said, go, he went. I pulled the ejection seat handle and uh, was ejected out in the wind stream. And I guess most anyone could imagine what happens to your body when you're thrown out in a 550 mile an hour blast of wind. When my chute opened, it was the hardest shock I'd ever had. And I had a busted arm in two places and a and a shoulder dislocated and a broken back. And in the process of ejecting, I broke my left ankle, uh, my left wrist, and I just ripped up, crushed my left shoulder. As my chute deployed and as I was coming down in the parachute, approaching the ground, I heard something go, sing, sing, sing. While floating down, I could see in the jungle clearing down there, I could see muzzle flashes of rifles shooting at me. And it's hard to hide in a parachute.